but there is but extending this to k will be a little complex is there any other way in which you can get an order n plus m algorithm anybody has another any other wild idea Anybody has any other wild idea of what to do? I'll give you a second hint. The second hint is that can you modify the edit distance problem? Can you modify the edit distance problem to do an ex a match with at most one difference. You remember the edit distance equations? Yes, sir. So can you modify the edit distance equations? And do something there. In the edit distance, what happens? As you said, that if there is a match, then you do i minus 1, j minus 1. <coughs> and that cost is 0. If there is a mismatch, then also you do i minus 1, j minus 1, but add a cost of what cost will you add? Substitution cost. Correct. So here our substitution cost is a mismatch cost, isn't it? Yes or no? Uh, yes, sir. So once you add this and the rest of it is not required, insert, delete, you remove. Because you are doing an exact match, all you have to do is if it matches, you do this. If it does not match, you do this. And there is another thing you do if it does not match. What do you do? How will you modify how will you rewrite the edit distance like equation? Anybody? Are you getting the hang of what I said? One we have drawn two machines and by that we can get order n plus m is that clear to everybody yes sir. yes sir. yes it's clear and you can get an order n plus m you can work it out now if i have to extend it to k then i have to draw many more strings i can always extend it to k mismatches again i will draw another because the new strings, the new strings are all straight line strings because after one mismatch, they have to match exactly for the rest, isn't it? Are you following me? Yes, sir. Let me let me let me go back to that example. See in this example, you will have a parallel string, but in that parallel string, all you will have is a sequence. One, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Correct. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there, you won't have any other back edges. If they, if they don't match once more, then you will return failure. Correct. 
Wait, let me. Let me try and. Show you what to do. Wait, wait. Let me show you what to do. <coughs> Oh, sorry. Can you all see the screen? Yes, sir. Yes. yes, sir. So if I have one mismatch, then I will draw another parallel. As I said, I will draw another parallel machine, which is like this. And this is A, this is B, this is C, A, this is B, this is A, this is C. Correct? This part is all right up to now. Yes, sir. Yes. Now, from this zero here, I will draw an edge where if there is a mismatch, with labels B or C? Set to the one of the red tree. B or C. From state one with the label A or C, where will, where will I go? So the two, two. of Then from two with the other edge B or C, I will move to three and so on and so forth. Correct? Is it clear to everybody? Akshay yes, Mandal? Sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now in this red machine, which is version one, Will you have any other edge coming out? Suppose at state one. First question is, will state zero exist for that machine? The start state will always be here. So now here in this state one of the red machine. In this state one of the red machine. I am supposed to get B. Suppose I get A, where will I go? Fail. Correct? Yes, sir. And so you have only a single machine. But you know what is the difference between this machine and the previous machines that are this uh, state machine and the previous machines? This state machine at a particular state, if I have for the same input, for example, in state zero, if I get A, I move to state one in the original machine. But if I get B, I can move to either state zero in the original machine or one in this machine. Correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So this sort of a finite state machine is called a non-deterministic finite state machine. And if you want to convert it to a table, you have to choose that which one I will do. And for that, there is a way in which you have to create a product machine of the two. That you don't need to bother now. 
we'll, we'll, but you think about what to do because I don't want to backtrack. I want to, I want to check. If I want to check the rest of the match, then I have to do something so that I have to do either this or that. If I do it, if I do backtrack and do it, then obviously I am going to yield an order and into M algorithm. Because I will first al almost check the whole of the rest of the string and then I'll come back to redo this string. That won't work. So I have to redo this data structure in a better way. If I have more than one mismatch, I'll create a second such sequence. And then that will that second green machine will be equivalent to a machine where you have reached after one more error or that means after two mismatches and so on and so forth. But converting that into an order n plus m algorithm is something that you have to think. On the other hand, come back to the edit distance problem. Can you rewrite an equivalent recursive definition to solve the one mismatch problem? That means it will come back and tell you whether there is an exact match or as you just said, the cost is zero. What is the cost? How many mismatches are there? And what is the minimum mismatch cost? Isn't it? That's what I want to know. How will I write down my recursive definition? Like I have written here. Sorry. Edit distance problem. Yeah. Like I have written here, how will I write down the equivalent definition? Try, try. Or, and has anybody got the idea of what to do? Tell me. What is the cost? Match I J. What is the base condition? OK, let us write the recursive condition because we don't have much time. What is the recursive condition? If I equal to if X I equal to Y J, then Z1 so then is equal to. So M I minus one J minus one. M I minus one J minus one. If Xi is not equal to Yj. Then. So we can take the minimum of two states. One plus that is one plus M I minus one J minus one comma M I minus one J minus one. Very good. So I'll write Z2 is M I minus 1 J minus 1 plus 1 and Z3 is M. If this is S and this is P. I. I minus 1 J minus 1. No, I minus one, J minus one to Hogia. What will you do? You will. This is when they. This is when there is match mismatch. And you go ahead with mismatch. And here, what do you want to do? The begin from the, the J. Like start from the beginning. 
जी इजेंट इट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द बिगिनिंग मीन्स वॉट विल यू डू वॉट विल यू पुट यर यू विल मूव अहेड इन द पैटर्न इन द स्ट्रिंग और यू विल मूव बैक समवेयर इन द स्ट्रिंग वॉट विल यू डू go back to this definition go back to this definition we know that if there is a match you go ahead if there is a mismatch what do you do one is obviously you add cost of substituting like you have here and what else <coughs> so the deletion and insertion costs and we yeah so deletion and insertion costs are what so mismatches mm -hmm. sir so do you mean like uh, deleting the first element and uh, adding the last one i mean in the string you move head right yeah in the string you move head in the string see in the pattern you in the string you have to move ahead from somewhere isn't it let's yes, go back sir. to this question sir so we will stay at the same position where we were if if we are not uh, adding the cost so you will stay at the same position where you were good good but how would you also move ahead in the string so where would you move ahead you would move ahead in the okay so let me ask you let's do an example you have a b c d a b c e and your pattern your string is s and your pattern is a uh, sorry b c e okay your string is b c e now tell me how will you write how will you write how will you fill up your table which is my row which is my column row row mm -hmm. so a b something for zero that's all right c d a b c e f and this side i have zero i have b i have c i have e ab bolo anybody how will i write this part we all know we have written this
if it matches, it is I minus one, J minus one, Z one. If it does not match, then it is I minus one, Z two is I minus one, J minus one plus one. What is Z3? Lost everybody. Arya Rajendra? Avais Akhtar? Yes, sir. Lost? No, sir, I'm thinking. Ishan, Ritam? Mm, so, I, I think I need to read a bit more on this over the weekend. Sir, hello. Ah, Sir, actually, I am still not convinced why Z3 means, means why will it be J? Means that's what no, I'm no, thinking. I've, I, I have not said why will it be J. I've just put a question mark there. Okay, okay. Sir, what I was thinking be? that. Mm -hmm. Sir, so one, one condition can be I'm ignoring uh, one mismatch and I'm moving ahead. <laughs> that is with cost one. Mm -hmm. And another thing, according to me, should be that I start again from the like beginning like i start again matching from the like um, like end actually like we are going be behind so we are we go to the beginning actually means at least yes. i was thinking that so tell me what it should be if you want to go from the beginning mm -hmm. if you yes. want to go from the beginning what should it be very simple will you go from the beginning Will you go from some midpoint? Where will you go from? Okay, okay. So, sir, like it, it should be zero then. Sir, it will be from the beginning. Like, yeah, yeah, it will you be right. You, you all I minus one. Ah. Karke karo. Karke batao. Samjha? Anyway, you are now, I think we are short of time. Think about it. And then there are two more problems of a similar nature. Uh, the second problem is related to maximum subsequence of three sets. The second problem, have you seen the second problem? Read the second problem. What is the second problem? Sir, it is find the longest common subsequence among three strings. Three strings. And then there is a second part to it. How would you do that? So we can keep three index uh, means three point like index to the string one move one by one for the same if all three are same all three characters are same then we move for, for uh, like forward uh, like every string but if there is a mismatch then 
like we have to like find the cases actually then yeah what are the cases you have you have to work out mm -hmm. yes sir yes. it's a straightforward thing it's a straightforward extension but the second part is a little tricky So can you repeat the first part again? How? What is the idea behind it? The idea behind it is you you in in the longest common subsequence you had arguments i j, isn't it? Yes, sir. Hmm. Now you have i j k. Okay, okay. Sir. If all match, you move one step in every direction, and then now you have cases. All three are different. Two are matching. And then you know what to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, sir. Okay, we'll stop today. You all will have another class now in another two, three minutes. So please work them out. This Saturday, there will be no tutorial, no class. I think we have covered everything. Next week we will start a new topic. So. Next week is a new topic, no, Polish? Yes, we will we will start trees by yeah, data structures. Data structures. OK, then recording can be stopped. Ah, you're saying something? Sir, uh, yes, sir. I had one doubt regarding the uh, like group presentation. So, Miss, there in the mail actually many deadlines were given. Like uh, February 10th, uh, finalize the problem statement like this. So, sir, like, like Miss, we have to send something. Miss, uh, Miss, there are no, no. this, this deadline. These deadlines are just for your structures. Okay, okay, yes, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Got it. Otherwise, you will start only one one night before submission, na? <laughs> yes, sir, yes. Okay, got it. Sir. So that you don't tell me that we did not warn you. Now that's why I didn't stop the recording. I'm keeping this recording. <laughs> okay, then all the best. Have a nice day, all of you. Bye. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.